Yes. And uh, and now I apply the small disturbance of uh, change in V ref, and uh, here is how the controller is. But uh, now it's not behaving like I want. Ah, I know why. Wait. I will do it again. Sorry. Don't record me. You make me nervous. <laughs> I, I need it for YouTube. It's, it's a good practice. Yes. To be nervous. So what are you doing now? Okay, so now I turned on because the thing is that the entity's controller needs another loop time than mine. So I had to change the loop time of the FPGA. And uh, now I will turn off the pieces again. Oh, and apply a small disturbance. Hopefully it will work this time. Yeah, so now you see the system oscillating. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the controller. The controller yeah. is activating the load. Mm -hmm. Shut off and shut down. Mm -hmm. No, but I'm actually using the SVC now. Okay, so you're using that yeah, one now. Yeah, I'm using that one. The to control the voltage, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, one thing... Uh, there's a value variable delay in the hardware in the loop setup. So I'm not sure, like, uh, when I came down to the lab today, the alpha, like, the phase compensation I had applied wasn't working uh, mm. exactly correctly. So I was just uh, right before you came trying to find, like, a mass. So that's one of the things you have to make something that will calculate the latency and be able to compensate for it, uh, like, with, uh, automatically, without. And, uh, okay, so. Uh, I guess I can show you as well how the because I now I can show you how it works in software in the loop as well, so you can see that it works much uh, faster. And, uh, I apply the fault again, and uh, you see the oscillation. Of the, this is when I simulate the SVC or like the control inside the real-time simulator as well, but on a separate core. And you see that those mm. places are damped quite quickly, so you see how much this whole process is. Uh, yeah. mm. So the, the whole uh, communication network has the impact of the delays is that the performance in the controller decreases. Mm. You can sh show them again. It's nice that you can do that now without offloading the model and... Uh, yeah. But what do you want? Just to show Sh Show them again uh, with the uh, delay of this small network yeah. in the lab. Mm -hmm. All right, I don't need to. Okay, so without or with? With. Okay, sorry. So now we have the delay again of the system. And? So you see, it took two peaks to, to dump. Mm. When we were in software in the loop, and now it's, uh, and now in hardware in the loop, you have a long time to dump with the same algorithm and same controller. Okay, and uh, so this is the one thing that I Okay, so now is the load controller turning uh, on. Ah, enough. I forgot. Oh, no, oh, again. Wait. <laughs> I have to turn it off before the system becomes obsessed. It's almost collapsing. Yeah, but that's because I had to change the load time again on the FPGA. It is a longer time, the load controller, than the, the, uh, the SVC. Sorry for that. But this is what happens. What is the looped up time in the FPGA for yours? For mine is 100, for his it's 50. Microseconds, right? Yeah. <coughs> okay, and uh, let's try it again. Hopefully it will work now. Huh? Everyone cross your fingers. <laughs> so this is the signal that is being generated and now it is going to be applied, right? 
Now it works. So the, the load is varying. Mm, like this. Mm. Based this on the oscillation input. Mm. Yeah, I just <coughs> use the like basic load that we have and then I, I modulate it like uh, bang, add bang to it or uh, decrease it mm. with this amount. So so now we're hardware in the loop, right? Yes. Yep. Show them in software in the loop. Yeah, but I don't have it. I had a separate model for that. But ah, I don't. Then, uh, then no. So uh, I, I, I was going to, but then I thought, oh, I could uh, do this, but I, uh, yeah.